Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a little bit of a mini haul gathering kind of a video. Uh, I've been doing some shopping in the past couple of weeks and I've forgotten to show things and some things I haven't opened because I've been waiting to show because that's what I do. So here we go. First thing I wanted to show you is this. This will be coming up as I flip through when I get to it. I think I have other ones still to do too because hello, I'm behind. But all recipes that came in the mail. My latest sip spy came in the mail, so I need to do my tea videos. My latest munch box came in the mail. I need to do my uh, snacks around the world too. Speaking of snacks, I went to Pop Shelf because I love Pop Shelf. Pop Shelf to me is like just very chill shopping. You walk in, the displays are so pretty, and you never know what you're gonna find. And they have an international section now, just a small one, so that's kind of cool. They also have some interesting things, um, like this. Portobello jerky. It's like not meat jerky. This one is sweet balsamic and golden fig. I have tried them, they're pretty yummy, very chewy. I don't feel like doing anything chewy right now. But uh, yeah, just like jerky, only it's made out of mushrooms. Seriously, they have a bunch of different flavors too. So there was that. Uh, bend over here, something else that I got at Pop Shelf is this, it is marked $10. It was not $10, it was on sale. It was $3. That's right, this many y'all, $3. It's got the thick, thick mat. Do I use it for yoga? No, no, I, I don't do yoga. I, Yeah, that, that's not happening, but I do like to put these on the floor at the, uh, the foot of my bed. Um, it's nice to stand on when you're standing there folding clothes and stuff. And then the cat scratches on it and it's a cheap replacement. He loves to scratch on these and tear them up. I have one in there now that's about come completely apart. He scratches it, tears it up, and then there's that stuff everywhere from it. But three bucks. I'm not complaining about that. It beats the price of a rug. Okay. What else did I get from there? Anything else that I got from there is long since put away and I didn't hold it back. So it must not have been too interesting. Hmm. Um, I did go to a, I went to a mall yesterday, y'all, a mall. Who has been to a mall lately, right? Um, we had gone someplace to eat and I wanted to walk around a little bit afterwards. We're like, okay, let's go to the mall. The mall doesn't close for another couple hours. Boy, talk about Deadsville. There was hardly anything open there in the mall. I took this off because I'm tired of that glare. Um, so many places that are closed, so many places that close early. The mall closed at nine, but everything was closed at six or seven. And I'm like, okay. Now back in the day, malls were the place, you went to the mall, you met your friends at the mall, you walked around the mall, it was full of people all the time. Total Deadsville. However, Bath and Body Works was still open in there and they had a sale, of course. My recipient. They have so many cute things that I wanted to buy that I didn't. They have little fragrance doohickeys that you plug into the wall. They had some in such cute Halloween type styles. Seriously, love them. I may end up going back for some because yeah, they look so cute. Anyway, I got some hand soap because they had the hand soap on sale um, in a bunch of different flavors, scents or whatever. Sunwashed citrus. Strawberry pound cake. I thought that sounded like fun. Oh, this is one of the uh, one of the Halloween ones. Perfect pumpkin. And look at the cute little jack o' lantern on there, and like the total Halloween theme of it. I really like that. Um, pumpkin cupcake because I'm all about the pumpkin stuff. Let's see, kitchen mandarin. It'll be used in my kitchen anyway, so why not? I'd love the smell of mandarins and oranges in general. And I got uh, some warm vanilla sugar shower gel for the hubby who loves the smell of vanilla and he loves the smell of this stuff. It's his birthday this week. I will treat him with some nice vanilla stuff. But that is all that I bought there, surprisingly. There was so much I wanted to, I had to be like, okay, step back, step back. We're not buying everything. So there was that. Alrighty, what is this? I don't remember what this is. Oh, okay, went to Ollie's. And I have a bag stuck on my foot. There we go, because I have them down on my feet here. I got a, a couple of things at Ollie's. Um, got myself this thing to put on bottom of the rugs. 
so that the throw bug doesn't go flying when it's on a bare floor. I got this. I don't know how good it's going to be for me. It's party crochet, but it looked kind of cool. And you know, for the price for their books, three bucks, you really can't beat that. They have a lot of like dresses and bags and all kinds of stuff in there. And I thought it was neat. We may do a flip through and see if there's anything we need to make out of this. This is super cute, but it's not something I'm going to make for myself. Look at the beaded cardigan. Wow. Beaded. Yeah. Lots of beads. Lots of beads. Anyway, there's that. And there was another bag here from Ollie's. Oh, and I got a bunch of scented things for, for the Twuk uh, because they were hella cheap. Bora Bora Waters is one of them. I got that. I thought that was, it smelled not too harsh. I don't like the scents that are like, whoa, totally in your face. And I have to turn them completely down so that it's not too much scent in the car for me. But that's just me. Juicy Cherry. I thought that was fun. I've got some kind of Aloha Hawaii thing in the car right now. It's a little tropical scent. It's nice. It's not too much. It's okay. And of course, I could not go past a little yarn section that they have at Ollie's without getting some more of the Heat Wave yarn. Two of them, $2.99 a piece. Um, these are a gray color called Passport and black called Summer Night. These make wonderful hats. If you like to make hats for donation and stuff, because, you know, I live in the South. I don't need that many hats, but I love making them. And I might make myself a black and white one just because. This works up really, really nicely. It's easy to crochet with. So that is something to keep in mind, especially at that price. So back in that bag, that goes. Okay, I'm gonna go to my Goodwill haul from today. Yes, I went to a Goodwill today. I love me some Goodwill, y'all know that. Um, my recipient. Got a few books, because of course I did. This one still had the jacket on it, which surprised me. A Bobby Flay from Mesa Grill, his stuff. Why don't you just look at that yummy stuff back there? Yes. And it'll like it just be nice to look through. I love looking through cookbooks and getting ideas and looking at stuff that I may or may not ever make. Makes me want to go to his restaurant though, because that looked really, really yummy. This one I thought would be fun. Thanksgiving is totally my jam. I love to cook for Thanksgiving. Um, so Thanksgiving 101 yeah and this was originally a $15 book and of course their books are like what two bucks at Goodwill so that was cool and it looks it's got so many different things in there like classic things and other things butternut squash and rice tion that sounds yummy I'm going to stop because I'll get hungry and I got one more book there they did not have a lot of crafty books they had cookbooks just not a lot of things with craft, nothing for crochet or knitting at all. But I found this uh, for beading. Bead and wire jewelry exposed. I have done a little bit of beading stuff. I would like to do more. But this is one of those neat books that kind of shows you how to do all the things. So there's that. And y'all know I love to cook, don't really love to bake, but I could not pass this up. This was an actual Wilton cake pan. Nice, it's a good one. $3.09. Yes, the prices at Goodwill have gone up. The prices everywhere have gone up. So I'm not mad at it. But look, it's like a little bitty bunt can pan or a little bitty do nots or whatever. But super cute for three bucks. And I have the place to store it already. This is not a struggle. Okay. Now I did get a couple of other things at Goodwill. There is yarn forthcoming. So chill. We're getting there. All right. I got a really nice shirt. Look at this. I love the pattern on this shirt. I love the colors, I love the pattern. This is gonna be comfy to wear while I'm working. It's got little buttons on the front. All the buttons are there. There's no stains, there's no pulls. This is from Great Northeast Indigo Women's Plus. Never heard of them, but it's all good. And let's see, how much was this? This was $6.24. Nice shirt, okay, I got that. And I got a skirt. This is a skirt from Torrid. I don't remember seeing this, so I don't know how long ago it was at Torrid. Look at this. This is super cute. Stretchy at the top, okay? And this was $6.24. This is a Torrid 4. Um, I wear 3s or 4s depending on what it is. Since this just rides on the waist, a 4 will be just fine because my waist is bigger than a 3. 
So, yes, I thought this was cute. Oh, and oh, also, while I was at there at Goodwill, I found something that I donated there. <laughs> I didn't buy it, though. I did not buy my own stuff back. Go me. They had a bunch of yarn, a bunch of yarn, but I left with exactly one skein. Their, pro their yarn was mostly overpriced. I mean, really? Oh, I'm lost in the bag here. Um, they had a bunch of really old Super Saver. I mean, the old, crunchy, really bad to work with Super Saver. And they were on it four bucks. And some of them weren't even full skeins, and they were the small skeins at that. And I was like, no, y'all are on crack. I'm not buying that, okay? Even though normally for me, I buy all the yarn. But this is a Fibra Natura, or whatever the name of it is, um, natural fine hand knitting yarns. This is, it says yummy, 100% superwash merino wool. Look at that. Okay. Wherever it came from, I think it came from some kind of a, a smaller yarn store originally. It was originally 20 bucks and then it was on sale for $15.99 and then it was on sale for $8.99. I got it for $2.99 y'all. $2.99. What am I going to do with it? Who knows? I might pair it up with something else. It's got kind of a cool color scheme, the, the red with the black and the gray. It's got some nice variation in there. I think that'll work up really neat. Um, it looks like it's about a two weight. Mm. Never really happy about that small of a yarn, but like I said, I could put it with something else if I need to. I just thought it was really cool. And Superwash Merino for three bucks. That is what I go to Goodwill for, not $4 for some old worn out ass super saver. No. So there's that. All right. Put that back in the bag. Okay, I've gotten through that, that, and that. Torrid is coming up. But first, but first, Belk. I went to a Belk today. I hardly ever go to Belk, okay? We were out, went to Goodwill, and next to Goodwill there's a Belk. We were in Hartwell, Georgia, and I thought I was gonna go over there and look for some furniture. Badcock, which is an awful name for a place, but they were closed because it was Sunday. So, okay, not gonna go look for furniture there. Thought maybe Belk had some. Maybe they had some way in the past. They didn't have any then. They said, well, you can order it online. Yeah, whatever. So I walked around the store, did a whole lot of just walk around shopping. They had a lot of clearance. Clearance, y'all, and you know how I am with clearance. Let's see if their receipt tells what each, how much each thing ended up being. Yes, it kind of does. Oh, I'm gonna leave one Belk item until the very end because you need to wait for it. It is so freaking awesome. Okay, there's this, which I thought was pretty cool. It looks like it'll be comfy. Yes, it has the raw edges kind of deal on it, but that's how it's supposed to be. Not exactly high fashion, but boy, high comfy and breathable for this humid weather that we have here. It was marked originally $39.50. Y'all know me better than that, right? It was not $39.50. This was $8.90. Yup. Here, hold that. Okay. Then, I actually went back and picked this up when I found out how to use their app to scan and see how much stuff was. This is a super cute shirt. It is marked $44.50, but it's also got a clearance tag. First look at it. Look at this, and it's very lightweight. It's a very cottony, summery, and you can tie it at the bottom any which way, one side or the other, or both. It's got a little pocket on the front, it buttons, so it, it's really super cute. Uh, $44.50, and this is their True Craft brand. Um, let's see. Oh, it is $11.12. Told you, I am cheap, 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 cheap. That's me. Here, hold that. Yes, I have an assistant over there. These here. I was just going to get the one color of these, but I went back for the other one because I found out they were so cheap. This is also a 3X, also in True Craft. How cute is this going to be with a tank top under it? It's kind of short, but it's like you wear a tank top under it, you know, wear it over a skirt or something. I am so looking forward to the weather coming when I can actually wear something that has a little sleeve to it and not die. Um, but yeah, this was originally $44.50. And 
I believe that, yeah, eight dollars and ninety cents. Eight dollars and ninety cents for that. That is so stinking cute. Little band at the bottom, a band at the bottom of the sleeves, little square neck kind of deal, little sweetheart neck, which I didn't button it up, but you know, you can see it's cute. And also in this color, because also eight ninety because it was cheap. That to me is just cute all over. So there's that and that. Take those, thank you. Something else that I got at Belk. Okay, that one I'm leaving for last. I'm leaving one of these for after my Torrid. Seriously, you need to watch, you need to see it because it's so dang cute. But this, look at that. Look at the fade on the stripes, I love that. Um, if this is one of their super soft shirts. It's called the Perfectly Soft Tee. It's 100% cotton. This is a 3X, of course. That's what I get in Kim Rogers stuff. It fits me pretty well. And, okay, I'm looking. 11.80 for this one. And I thought that was a really good price for this kind of tee especially with the detail and the color. So yeah, and I could totally wear this for work stuff and I have had to dress it up for work stuff. I've got a little blazer I could put over it so you still see the kind of the stripes underneath. So yeah, it will totally work for what I need it for, okay? Holding off on that last belt item because it is so much awesomeness, you need to wait till the end, seriously. Okay, oh. Now I've got a box that I have not opened. Uh, this is from Torrid, I ordered it. I ordered clearance. Um, there were some Torrid, uh, Torrid cash dickies that was given to me by Miss Lisa. She gave, gifted me Torrid cash because she had some and wasn't able to use it. And I went, I better at least use some of it. I didn't use all of it because, girlfriend, I don't need to shop that much. Oy vey. Deborah proof packaging. Okay. But I got myself a few things. I'm working on it. All right, the box is open. Didn't get that many things, so no panic in here. Um, I got another bra because, of course, I need another bra like I need another hole in my head. But I thought this was super cute. It's a wire-free, and I'm, I have a couple of wire-frees now, and this one is one that doesn't slide off your shoulders because the back, it goes a lot closer together. Not quite a halter, but, and it's supposedly push-up anyway without being wired. We will find out when we go to wear it. Sorry if any of your eyes are offended by a bra. It's a piece of clothing that women wear or women type folks, folks that have boobs. We wear these, get over it. Anyway, this was super cute. I don't know the prices because I got everything on more of a deal than what it says. You know how their prices are. They're always super high on the tag. You get sales, um, but yeah. It's got a little bit of lining it, a little bit of squish because you know, we need some push up there, but Yes, for me, it's a 44B. B. It's sad, I know. Grown woman, I'm still wearing Bs. All right. The price things, which it really does. Okay, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Dancer, some kind of dancer thing. $22.10 was what it ended up costing, and it was marked $54.50. So, yeah. Their bras and stuff are expensive, but on me, they last. I don't have a problem with the Torrid quality stuff because A, I don't pay that much for it, and B, it lasts on me. Okay, this one, double scoop fox. Oh, I got a bodysuit. That's right, I forgot that I ordered this. I wouldn't have ordered it had I not had Torrid cash and stuff. I, I said basically, what the hell? Like to quote Risky Business, there are times in life you have to say, what the, can't say it, but you know, that. You've seen Risky Business, you know exactly what I was going on about. All right, this is a bodysuit. Yes, but the kind that has the snaps in the bottom, so you don't have to take the whole thing off when you have to use the restroom, because that's annoying. I have a cat suit, it's super annoying, but sometimes you just have to. Anyway, cute, cute, cute. Price on the doohickey there is $29.50. Uh, the bodysuit came to eleven ninety five, so there you go, bodysuit. All right, 
What else do I have in here? I don't know. I don't know. Black poplin tiered midi something. And whatever it is, I ordered it in a 4X. Let's hope it's not too big. Because if it is, it's going to somebody else or getting donated. Because this is all non-returnable because it's so, you know, uh, it's clearance, clearance. Oh, it's a skirt. Okay. There are skirts I can definitely do a four because they, they sit around the waist. And this one has stretchy bits to it. So that will work just fine for me. It's a skirt that's sort of tiered. And it's black. Look at that. I kind of love this. And it's got its own lining under it from what I understand. From what I remember reading, it does. Like got its own slip sort of. Wow, you can smell the ink in this. You can tell that it's very heavily dyed. Um, but yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe with the bodysuit and then something over it. One of those little cardies that I just got. Oh, that's going to be cute. Okay, I got that. I got that. Oh, there's more. Hang on. I found something polka dotted in here. Polka dot chalice skater dress. I also got this in a four. Hopefully it's not too big. In their stuff, I kind of float between three and four. Three is a little tight. Four is a little big. So you just deal, right? Oh, this is so cute, though. My God, I love polka dots. I have another polka dot dress from Torrid. By the way, it's an older one. It's a totally different style. But look at this. Oh, my God, that's so cute. I love polka dots. <laughs> anyway, this was originally... Why doesn't it say? That's interesting. It does not say how much it was originally on there, but I bet it says on the receipt. Polka dot, blah, 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 blah. Oh no, it does. It just has, it said um, basically 20, it has just the sale price on it, 28.16. I think it was a markdown of a markdown. But yeah, super cute. It's got some stretch to it and some give and some flowy to it. I love dresses. Finally, this is the last piece in there. You know I had to get something floral, right? I could not have a whole box of Torrid without something floral. Another thing that I bought in a 4X, black floral stretch chalice something or other. So we'll see. We shall see. Open. Darn it. silica gel okay. oh, yes that's right this one had the stretchies okay this one has the stretchies on the front and on the back and that will help it to fit me too in all the right places what a pretty floral print I love this matter of fact I think I have a tank top with the same print that I got from them this season so yes this is originally $69.50 Hang on. That's black. That's floral. 2817. 2817. I think this is so cute. Just enough huggy up here, you know, underneath the, the boob parts. Then it flows out over afterwards and skims over the belly and goes like there's no there's no belly there. No. That's what I like about it. Anyway. That is my Torrid haul. Oh my gosh, so many cute things. And I didn't even get that much. I really had to hold myself back because I'm like, okay, I just got rid of like 60 or 70 pounds worth of clothes. And I don't mean I lost weight and got rid of that poundage. I mean the weight of the bags that I donated. Yes. So I'm not trying to fill my closet back up, but these are some different things that I didn't have before. Some really cute dresses because some of the dresses that I have were kind of old. They're kind of getting worn out because I wear them all the time. So it was time. Now, finally, the one last thing from Belk that I got that I just freaking had to get, and it was on sale too, so, you know, no worries there. Y'all know that Dorothy Svornak is my spirit animal, okay? I love me some golden girls. Look! Oh my god! I got a Golden Girls t-shirt. Yes, I love it. All four of their faces on there. That is so stinking awesome. 
This was at Belk. It was over in the men's section. So don't be fooled. Don't be looking around the women's section for this. This was in the men's section and this is a 3XL tall. So it'll fit me. It might even be a smidge big. I don't care because it's the Golden Girls and the Golden Girls absolutely rock. And yes, right there. That is me. You ever watch that show? If you've never watched that show, watch it. Shady Pines, ma. Shady Pines. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around for this haul video. Lots of stuff to show from like little trips here and there. Um, so I wanted to just kind of put it all together and go, hey, here's what I bought. Here's what I got. Hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you've bought lately. Have you had it done any haul videos? Let me know. Oh, and at Belk, I love how they tell you how much you saved. If you buy anything total full retail price at these places, you're nuts, okay? This set, now I spent a total of $66.26 on all of my belt stuff. And I got a good bit of stuff. I got a bunch of different shirts and tops and stuff. I got some good deals and I was happy with those. I saved $166.57. Whoa. They had a lot of good sales on their household stuff too. I just, I de decided not to get any of that. I was just kind of having fun with this. So yeah, fun. And Belk here, if you're not from I don't know if Belk is all over the country or not. I know that they're in the South. Uh, it's a department store. Check them out. You always find good deals there. Kind of like a, a JCPenney place like that. You, everybody's heard of JCPenney or Jacques Penier or you know, however you want to say it. Uh, not quite like Target. This is an actual department store. Uh, they have makeup counters and stuff too. They have the whole, you know, fragrance counters and all that stuff. But yeah, lots of fun. So I got lots of goodies. It, 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 I did some retail therapy today, okay? Totally did retail therapy. And uh, now I gotta wash all this stuff so I can put it away because you always wash your clothes before you wear them. Um, pro tip from the, someone who has worked in sewing factories before. I just do it. Just do it. Anyway, thank you so much for coming by. Hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.